Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's Wicked Gamer and Collector video review, we are going to talk about the Sharpen Ultra Light Edition. Yes, because there are two versions at the moment making this review, but we're going to focus on the cheaper edition, the light. What are we going to get for our money? Basically, is it worth the money? And I just wanted to share my personal experience in this video. So this is going to be pretty damn wicked, and we're going to have some fun with some virtual pinball. Oh, and I grew up with original stuff, the real arcade cabinets like Gottlieb Williams. But still, even if this is not like the real deal, I think Virtual Pinball is really cool. And in a cabinet like this, the Sharpen brings the Virtual Pinball to a different level. But again, we're going to focus on the specifications. Is this thing worth your money and how are you going to get it? But first, how are you going to receive it? When you're receiving the cabinet itself, it comes in in brown box in this one or maybe already changed up to the art box nevertheless inside we can find different parts well, i really like what you're going to get this is mdf painted black wood and this is not let's say the cheap wood you can find sometimes with these chinese cabinets for example i know for a fact when seeing the review of et prime that we are going to get a different kind of wood i did spoken with him about it and the, let's say the prototype et prime received was more like an let's say a laminated mdf cheaper quality so he can even improve the quality but does it look even better that is something you need to decide for yourself I need to point out if you are not really a handy guy or a technical uh, don't mind it the tutorials out there I made one and it's pretty easy to assemble these cabinets so keep that one in mind and that doesn't need to be a very big issue if you ask me all right so here at the side we have two little strips that keep the monitor in place and again it's very comfy for resting your hands but keep in mind it's more plastic and I personally like metal strips and give more like a quality feeling to it also I really love to see that they using maybe a more plexiglass to protect the display itself otherwise you need to clean it very often so then we having the following thing I really like the strips at the side but I really love to see some of the top and the bottom that make me more like this bezel and give this more like a quality feeling and finishing touch to the product so at the bottom we're having this little very thin plate and I don't like it and the reason why is if you want to let's say assemble a PC it's too weak. So the decals at the side are looking pretty fine. You need to cut them out uh, with assembly so you need to be a little bit handy with it and very gentle. But at the end I think it's a very cool looking sticker. Uh, he needs to use a little bit better quality because I did notice and I already mentioned to him that when I tried to put them on the cabinet the sticky part is not that great. With the light we are going to get the MX-10 over here at the right. So this is what you're going to get. The Titan box is quite, let's say, expensive and very powerful. But let's say, let's talk about the MX-10. So with the light version you're going to get the MX-10. It's a pretty, let's say, old box but it's not the latest and it is not super powerful. This has a quad core inside with around the Gore-Tex A53. The GPU is a Mali 450 running on Android of course, but at the end if you look at the remote this is something that is really bothering me because the remote you sometimes just need it with some apps and it doesn't work very well. With the light version this is the box you're going to get. Fully assembled you can see that we still have some open space at the back and this is for reaching the internal component or you want to flip the monitor out. If you assemble it like the manual says, you can see we having the two little 6 watt speaker over there. So the monitor inside the Sharpen is a Samsung S24 F356 FHU. So this is a 24 inch LCD display and what I did understand of it, if you look at the specification, is a full HD screen. You can connect through the HDMI or VGA connection. So there is no internal speaker in this monitor itself. And at the left button we having the power on and off switch and the navigation menu button all in one. So this is what you're going to get with the Samsung monitor. The front side of the camera we're finding the up and down button. Here we have exit and enter. At the right side we're having also two buttons left and right. So the top one is for using the flippers and at the right one you can use tilt with some of the cabinets. They are all connected with this little encoder and what I 
personally experienced there is no input lag at all and that is needed of course with a virtual pinball game Powering on this is what you're going to get nothing but i'm going to use the navigation of the remote but when you go into the apps you can see there are sometimes zen pinball or other pinball tables pre-installed there are all free versions so keep in mind there are some playable tables but at the end you need to buy the tables yourself and this can be very expensive all right so zen pinball works like a charm keep in mind you need to have it on low settings otherwise it will not run very well so you have a lot of different tables but there is only one playable with the free version you need to buy them the zen pinball tables there are let's say between one euro up to three euro fifty for one single table so they can be very expensive welcome to the sorcerer's lair I did try a couple of apps and big apps, but I find the Pinball Deluxe also very fun to play. But if you take a close look at the sound, it's not bad at all. Both of the speakers are around 3 watts. It doesn't even matter which version, if you buy the ultra or the light version, at the end you're always going to end up with the same little speakers. But the mid and high sound are pretty fine, but there is no bass at all. As you can hear with the video when playing, the sound is, let's say, good. You can adjust the volume over there. I put everything to the maximum. But personally, I'm not very satisfied, so I will upgrade this in the future and find a different awesome solution. With the App Store, there are a lot of different pinball games out there. There are even some collection games. And some of them, you can just play them for free. Keep it in mind that you sometimes need to buy some tables, but at the end, they are pretty fun. But what I think is a little bit of a bummer that some of these apps need to navigate through with the remote itself and the button. The, doesn't do anything so this is something you need to take in consideration with this android based system but at the end you can just play them with the buttons of course all right let's play So the sharpened light, is this worth your money? That is something you need to decide for yourself. Just keep in mind that virtual pinball in general is also very expensive if you want to, let's say, buy a kit, build something, buy all the parts, it's pretty expensive. So this is more like an all-in-one solution. It runs on Android, it runs just fine, even with the MX-10. But if you look, let's say, like a PC build, it's not to be compared. It's just a fun way to get into virtual pinball. With the games, keep in mind that you need to buy a lot of tables. So besides that you're buying this product, there are a lot of tables you need to buy from Zen Pinball. 
but it's something you need to take in consideration. At the end, I think it's a fun product. I did play it for quite some time and everybody around me really enjoyed it. So the sharp and light, it's pretty cool. So, but if it's worth your money, that is something you need to decide for yourself. But I thank you for watching. It would be great to have you here in the Wicked family. So consider subscribing, hit the little bell and don't miss out future videos. See you in the next one.